Hi, it's Sue. Today I'm working on um, Marguerite Miller's 2023 collage assignments. And we're up to week number four. My goodness, so soon. Okay, so week number four is something folded, housework or whatever that means to you, an ocean creature, a random piece of washi tape, an art scrap and the bonus that you can use in place of any of the others or as an additional piece. The bonus uh, this week is wrapping paper. So I'll just go and get myself organized and I will be right back. Okay, so one four by six piece of, um, I think it's actually drawing paper. That's my base. I have a couple of pieces of, again, it's my work. It's um, papers that I have ink stained. This one in particular, this is a top copy. This one is, um, I've scanned in and printed. This one is a top copy and I don't know whether you can see that, but I've actually, as well as the paint on here, I've spritzed it with gold and I use the Bow Bunny gold glimmer spray. Okay, so that's the two pieces of paper to cover. I've got another art scrap. I'm going to use this, although really this piece is an art scrap too, but I will probably use some of that. Um, housework to me means vacuuming, amongst other things. So I have these two images. I might use both, might not. My sea creature is a whale. We love it when the whales are around here. A couple of times a year we can drive out to the headland and see them either going north or back south. So the whale is my sea creature and I've got a, a couple of pieces from a, a dictionary. I may or may not use those. I've got a little scrap of wrapping paper and that's rather nice. It has that beautiful gold shimmer to it. So I'll definitely be using that. Some washi tape. This is my washi tape. I suspect I will use some of that. Um, for my folded piece, I've taken, this was part of the same magazine page that the vacuum cleaners were on. So I've taken this word, clean, and I intend to put that on the page so that it opens up like this. And on the other side, I've handwritten your space, clear your mind. So it's clean your space, clear your mind. And actually that does work for me. I can't settle if I've got loads of rubbish around on my desk, particularly. So yeah, I uh, totally um, get that. Right, let's move those off for a moment. Actually, I'll just move them to there. And um, start gluing down some pieces. Hope you're well today. I hope you enjoyed your weekend. I'm saying that because I'm filming this on Monday. Um, you probably won't see this until a bit later in the week, but you know, let's pretend. And I love this blue in here as well as the gold sprays. And I've actually edged it, there's that, the edge. Um, what did I use? Tumbled glass, uh, distress ink I use for that one. Right, just off to the side to glue the back. I'm using glue stick. These are only really copy paper weight. And this piece I was thinking will go down across the bottom here perhaps. I, don't like, I think I like that bit best. That's more in keeping, that's a bit brighter. We'll wait to stick that down. 
until I've got the other pieces. So um, what I'm going to try and do is, it's quite difficult working with a smallish piece, but I'm trying to think about thirds. Um, you know, if, um, if you cut this into three sections, it's a bit difficult that way across, but certainly that way. It'd be quite nice to have some interest all over. As I say, <laughs> with a small piece like this, it's a bit different. Now what I thought was that I would glue this to the back of this image. So I'm going to do that and that will hold it in place. I could stick it on the page but I think it will cover a bit of that sky. It should be good. I could do with that bit of real estate. Okay, so you would open it like so. Now, I can't remember how I thought I'd do this. Let's play. Actually, I thought I'd put a bit of washi over the top of that because that's a lot of clear space there. So let's do that before it goes down. Okay, so I'm thinking something like this, but I want to do a bit of stamping. I'm going to add more washi. Um, but I'm going to stamp down here and I'm going to use this swirly stamp. Okay, and I'll use the tumbled glass ink as we've started with that. And I'll move that out of the way. stamp up there too. Let's find a scrap of paper somewhere on my desk. There must be one. Yeah, that will do. Just over this area I think. You won't see much of it. Oh yes, I like that. That is enough. I was going to stamp there, but there's a lot of gold there, so I think I'll leave that. And that might be one of the spots I pick for washi. Okay, so let's start. What do I need down first? Let's get this down. Okay, I'm going to speed this bit up because this is boring for anybody watching.
Okay, my desk looks a disaster area. Or I've thrown things around, never mind. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to go and stitch this and I'll be right back to show you what it looks like finished. Okay, so I've stitched around the edge of this. Just move those off a minute. So I've stitched around all four sides and I'm happy with that. And then I came back and I thought, oh. started playing and I thought, well, that would be quite nice there, but looks a bit out on its own. And then I thought, oh, what about if I did it more like this? I know they're moving off the page. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe get rid of that. I keep all sorts of bits and bobs, I don't know whether you can see these. I've got a couple of these little boxes full of odds and ends, all the pieces I didn't use on this. Like these pieces have gone into one box. And it keeps them all together and I, basically I know where to look. Um, yeah, I don't know. I might walk away from this for a while and then make a decision. Is that enough? I think it is. Sometimes less is more. Don't know. Can't decide. Yeah, I might leave it for now. Okay, so let's move all this out of the way. So this was week number four. Completed. Hope you liked that one. And um, I'll see you back here, hopefully, shortly. Thanks so much for watching today. Bye now.